Now in the project, inside this index.js file, here I'm using the handler function to display this add form. But what I want, I want to use this visible inside this table component. So what we can do is we can pass this variable to the table component and then get that inside a table. But that is going to make your application more complex. This is because you're passing all the values from top to bottom, means from parent to child. And this maybe add many problems inside your Next.js application. So to solve this problem, we need the central store. So we can access all the data from the central store and pass that to the different component. So for that, we are using Redux Toolkit. So if you just search for Redux Toolkit, then you'll have here ReduxToolkit.js.org website. And right from here, you can get Redux Toolkit library. Just click on this Get Started. And here you can get the basic documentation of Redux Toolkit. I already explained how we can use Redux Toolkit in the Next.js application. If you don't know anything about Redux Toolkit, then I have a dedicated video on Redux Toolkit. You can check out that video from the top right corner of the screen or from the description. So to install Redux Toolkit, you need to install two libraries, Redux Toolkit and React Redux. So let me first copy this statement, stop the development server. And here I'm going to say npm install Redux.js Toolkit. And then I'm also going to install React Redux. Now, when I press enter, it's going to install both these libraries inside the project. If I open my package.json file, you can notice here, right down here, here I'm going to have two packages, React Redux and this Redux Toolkit. So once you have both these packages, you can create a new store inside your application. So inside this crude app, here I'm going to create a new folder, name this folder Redux. And inside this folder, I'm going to create three files. Now, because inside Redux Toolkit, you're going to have a store so we create a file called store you're also going to have reducer so we create here a file with the name reducer.js and we also have the action but we're going to add action inside this reducer file using redux toolkit you don't have to create a separate file or a dedicated function for actions you can add all the actions inside the reducer as well i will show you that after a few seconds just for now let's create a store first back to the store.js file to create a new store, you have to first configure the store using React Toolkit. So you need to first call import in the object. You have to say configure store and you have to get this from Redux Toolkit. And right down here, you have to export a store. So say export constant store is equal to configure store, this function. And inside this, you have to pass an object and this object have different arguments so we create here a reducer like this so this is a property called reducer and inside this we pass an object and to this object i'm going to pass my reducer so we first create a key app and pass my reducer so i'm going to say here reducer now this is a function and this is a property of the configure store so at the top right up here we need to first import the reducer as you know we have this file here reducer.js so I can say here import reducer from dot forward slash reducer. So I'm going to import this reducer function from this reducer file. Save this file back to the reducer.js and here I'm going to export that reducer function. So we need to say here export constant reducer slice. That's upon you. You can specify any name to this variable. And then I'm going to specify here create slice function. So we need to first import that function. So at the top. I'm going to say import create slice from react js toolkit and we need to pass that here create slice and this is going to create the reducer here we pass different options so we pass here an object and inside this we first specify the name to the reducer so i'm going to say here name which is going to be crude app then i'm going to specify the initial value of the store so what you have to do is you have to just pass the initial value of the store as a second argument. So here I'm going to pass initial state and then, and then I'm going to pass here comma and then pass a reducer functions. So we pass here reducers so in the object, you pass all your reducers. Now what you have to do is you have to initialize this initial state property. You can say constant initial state is equal to client. I'm going to create a property called client and then pass an object here. The first property I'm going to specify here is toggle form, which is going to be false. 
now this variable is going to create this object with the property called toggle form with the value false just are that inside this reducer function right here i'm going to create a reducer function so here i'm going to say toggle change action now you can see i'm going to create a function with the name toggle change action here i'm going to pass colon and pass function to it something like this so now this is a type of function just are that to this toggle action change we pass the current state so we pass here state now inside this state variable we have the current state of the store just out that here i'm going to say state dot client this property dot toggle form this property is equal to state dot client dot toggle form now this statement won't make sense this is because we just specify the equal value to both these variables so what we are going to do is we're going to pass here exclamation mark as you know inside this index.js file right here to convert the visible into invisible or you can say to convert this false value to true we pass exclamation mark here so this is what we are going to create inside this reducer we are going to first get the current state and return the opposite state so if we have false here then i'm going to return true to this current state just out of that we need to get the actions so we can call that actions inside the dispatch function and pass values to the store when you create a reducer the action creators are generated for each case reducer function so for this reducer there is an action so right down here i can say export constant reducer slice dot actions now this property is going to return an action so we're going to get all that actions inside an object using javascript destructuring so i'm going to pass here object something like this and inside this property here i'm going to get that action so the name of the action is the name of the function so the reducer name is toggle change action so the action name is toggle change action so we are just going to export that action using the export statement after that i'm going to just export this reducer slice as a default function so right down here i'm going to say export default reducer slice and this object is going to return a reducer function so we pass here reducer let me save this file back to the store save this file as well and open the app.js file and right here you have to call the store you have to wrap this component inside a store so we can access the store value in all the components so at the top right here i'm going to say import in the object i'm going to say store from the redux store so from this file i'm going to call this store.js file and from that i can access this store variable you can see i just exported that store variable just out of that once i have the store we need the provider as well so i'm going to say here import in the object we pass provider from react redux so from react redux library we get the provider component using this provider component you can pass store to all the components so let me grab this statement here i'm going to say provider this component and specify the component here and to this provider we pass store store this variable that's it now the redux store is successfully initialized and now let me check the react store is working or not so at the top right up here i need to say import in the object we need to call a hook use selector and this is from react redux oops i think i misspelled here use selector so we're going to call use selector hook from the react redux and right down here let me just call that inside this function inside this table i'm going to say use selector call the callback function here with the value state and then i'm going to return that state you can get this state inside a variable let me create here a variable constant state is equal to and then i'm going to console dot log this something like this let me save these changes and open the console oops i think i misspelled something configure store is not a function let me just back to the store yeah i just misspelled here let me just change the spelling now you can see the redux store is now successfully initialized in this application and as a response you will get here a state the current state you will get app inside this app you have client and inside this client you have your property called toggle 
and now you can change this property value from any component of your app. So let's see how to do it.